cost accounting can be found in the cost accounting area at the top here. And going into cost types, this is where you'd be setting up your uh, chart of accounts. So I've got the uh, three already set up for now. Um, I'll use the example of office uh, for square meters. So uh, if I just have a look in here, I've already posted some entries and we can imagine that this is floor space. So we can say we've got 10,000 meters squared for admin, 25 for sales and uh, 1500 for support. And this is just posted using the cost entries. Um, but to uh, to get started on um, bringing cost types in, we can go to process and get cost types from chart of accounts. And when we do that, it brings in your uh, chart of accounts on your income statement. Um, and then it brings those through for you. Uh, we can then run a job, which is transfer GL to um, entries to cost accounting. If we do that, you can start seeing that some figures populated with a balance to allocates uh, on the uh, right hand side. And if I actually go to our cost accounts using this, um, this filter set up, so uh, it's going to show the same figures here. So we've got uh, the income there, we've got some figures for rent and salaries, and that matches what's come through on the cost types. So as I, as I said, I'll, I'll put a date filter there for the 1st of um, January. And the reason why it's pulled that through for here is based on the cost accounting setup. So there's a little bit of setup you can do for the cost accounting. Uh, just put a start date for your GL transfer. You say whether you want to align certain things such as the GL, the cost center dimension and the cost object dimension. You've got the options of no alignment, automatic alignment and prompt to align. And there's also a good feature here of auto transfer from GL, which essentially means every time you do a post into your GL, it will automatically post the cost entry in the, in the background as well to ensure that your cost accounting area is uh, completely up to date as postings hit the GL. So if you go through further areas of the cost accounting, we've got the cost centers. So these have currently been pulled through from the uh, department dimension. And as I pulled them through the uh, from the transfer to the cost accounting, we've got net change figures. So those have been summed up automatically for us. Uh, cost objects, I'm not going to uh, be using those for the purpose of the demo, but as I said, they'll, they'll be where you've got services or products and you can put these through as cost objects. And then once you've allocated certain areas of the cost center, you can then further allocate to cost objects. We've also got cost budgets. So these are, I've just done a, a really quick budget here for, for rent and utilities, and that's separate from my GL account. And then we've got cost allocations. So as Rich mentioned, um, you may do a posting to, for example, for rent, and you post that to the, the admin center. But when you want to allocate, the, uh, understand the costs of, uh, associated with each um, cost center that you have or profit center, you want to do a, an allocation. So for example, rent, we, we do that based on floor space. And as I showed you earlier, we had the shares of 10,000, 25,000, 1,500. So in the background, the system can allocate those shares and percentages to allow you to post to the um, cost centers based on your cost allocation as you, as you would need to post. So if we look back at the uh, cost cost types, we have a uh, rent expense and we've got uh, 3,630 uh, pounds to allocate there. So I run the job, we can allocate the costs. And it's just a job. So we've got options for allocation levels. So um, uh, we've got allocation options of, you can set levels one to 99, and the ones I've set up, they're both set at level one, but you can run this so you can set for, run for 10 levels at once, then the next 10, then the next 10, so you, you distribute in your allocations as you, as you need to. So I'll just run that. Start the job, it's, it's creating the eight allocation entries. And as you can see now, my balance file allocates uh, been removed. And based on what I set up in the background for the, for the rent and rates, we now have an allocation of rent and utilities. If I just click in here, we then based on what I set up, we've got uh, an allocation of 10,000 of 3,650 shares, and it's, it's posted the allocation based on what was in the in the in the GL amount. So this can then be reported on, as you'd expect. So we've got uh, some out of the box reports for cost accounting PL, uh, cost accounting PL statement, and then by period, and we've also got some analysis. But to bring it back to some of the demos we've uh, looked at previously, uh, we can also do this in account schedules. So we'll be popping the account schedule demo link in the description, but we can also uh, report on the account schedules here. So uh, there's one a very small one I've created with just one line. So based on what I've uh, distributed, I've got a one line uh, account schedule. And if I click process and overview, 
we, we see my net change and we could add some filters here based on cost um, dimensions. So previously we've looked at it being based on the uh, GL, but we can also do that based on the costs. So if we do that and I can bring my budget in, you then see we've got the net change based on the uh, administration cost center and the budget that I had set up. So um, that allows you to um, see the true cost of the allocations for, for each cost center. So just as a quick overview, the uh, cost accounting area, you can also post entries posted to the GL to the cost accounting. It's optional and entries can be sent in daily or monthly batches. Um, allocations can be posted between cost types or cost objects and moving costs to production or services. Uh, cost budgets can be created, which differ from the GL budgets, and you can create a um, account schedule to report on those costs. Uh, one thing you can't do is you can't push back towards the GL. So you, you cost journals are where they are and uh, they're, they're saying the um, cost accounting area.